we keep screwing it up again and again and again. You see, there's two different ways to manifest anything that you're dreaming about, anything that you're looking to call into this reality. And the first one is called manufactured manifestation. Manufactured manifestation. And this is what we're taught in school each and every single day, day in, day out. Set a goal. Now figure out how you're going to do it. How is that going to happen? What do you need to do in order to make that possible? And then utilizing this construct which has been placed upon us, we start going, well, we must create our whole lives like that. I want this job opportunity. I want this relationship. I want this body. How do I make it happen? How do I make it happen? How do I make it happen? And that's the one question that's really screwing it all up for you right now. You see, you don't make anything happen. In fact, if you look back at all the different manifestations and all the layers of everything which you have and haven't called into your reality, do you really think you controlled any of that? Do you really think that right now I manifested this moment because of this jungle and all these trees around me? You really think I made the trees grow? You really think that I managed to tap in and create this perfect experience in the moment? You see, yes, we're the creators of our own destiny, but what we don't realize is that the destiny is coming through us. The destiny, the dream, the vision, the soul's desires, it's looking to come through you. But in order to do that, you can't control the process. You've got to get out of the way. So if we're not manufacturing the process, what are we doing? We're choosing to surrender. We're choosing to surrender to the process. We're choosing to get out of the way and instead trust in the divine timing, trust in the divine synchronicities, trust in the fact that we're fully guided, fully supported in this entire process. You see, if you have a, a yearning, a soul's desire, something that you're looking to call into your reality, something that you're looking to manifest, a dream, then instead of asking, how do I do that? Why don't you start asking, how can I simply show up in order to speed up this manifestation process? Because you see, it's, it's already done. If your soul is pulling at you, if you feel a call, if you feel a desire, if you know that there's something greater pulling literally at your heartstrings right now, then it's not up to you to make it happen. It's up to you to get out of the way. It's up to you to open up and surrender to the divine energy that is looking to come through you into this physical manifestation. It's up to you to grasp and truly embody these manifestations through into the physical. It is not your job to make them happen. It is not your job to make them happen. And I'm not suggesting for one minute that you just sit there and you go and now lie on the couch and go, you know what, well, you know, Regan said that the manifestations are just going to show up and it's not, it's not my responsibility and I don't have to do anything. No, you must participate in the manifestation process. You must participate in your own rescue. You must participate in your own greatness. But from a place of surrender, not a place of control. See, when we're controlling it and we're saying, well, I want this to happen, but it's got to happen this way by joining these dots, by doing this thing, because that person's got to say this to that person and then this has got to unfold this way. The minute we start doing that, the minute we start implanting those patterns of behavior, those certain frequencies, what do we do? We shut down the field of endless possibilities. We control it. We say it's got to happen like this. And then when a divine synchronicity comes in, guess what? You can't see it. You're not available to it. You can't even recognize the opportunity, the person, the money, the relationship that's been put in front of you, right in front of your face. You can't even see it because you're so stuck in your own map, in your own thought construct of going, you know what, it's got to happen this way. So what if you got out of the way? What if you instead said each and every single day, I am intentional, I know where I'm going, I know what I'm calling in, I know what I'm manifesting and from this place, I open to receiving that. From this place, I choose to truly surrender. From this place, please support me. Please guide me. Please show me. How can I better show up in this manifestation process? What can I do today right now in order to facilitate the process of manifestation? What can I do in order to pull this manifestation into the now, to truly embody it, to be the vessel that brings it here on planet Earth, right here, right now? How can I be of service? How can I get out of the way? 
moving past my constructs of limitation, my fear, my negative self-doubt, my limiting beliefs, anything which is stopping or blocking the flow of manifestation? How can I get rid of the manufactured constructs of let me control the process because it has to happen like this? How can I get rid of all of that? And instead say yes. And instead be open. And instead be available. And instead lean back. Leaning back into your soul's desires, into your manifestations that by the way are already done across different times, different realities, different dimensions. They've already happened. If they hadn't have happened, you wouldn't be able to feel them right now. Knowing that we're multifaceted, we're able to tap into this different version of ourselves, which is already living into the reality that we dream of, that we feel. And from that place, we choose to say yes. From that place, we choose to be of service to the vision. From that place, we choose to surrender. I choose to surrender. I choose to surrender. I choose to surrender. Say it with me. I choose to surrender. It is done. It is done. It is done.